Hello and welcome. Now I am planning to show you that uh, how you could uh, change this uh, battery to this Toyota Yaris remo remote key and uh, how how it happened and what you need. Firstly, you need uh, that kind of very very small screwdriver. What is what is in the cross head? This is the point, and uh, where you could purchase this kind of uh, screwdrivers, you can go to to I believe that in car spare warehouse or shop and also this small key is very common in electric industry if you go to some computer shop or or this electric shop where are those electric components you can purchase this this kind of very sharp and crosshead tool uh, because there is this very small crosshead, uh, this uh, screw. It is in just just in here, and you need that screwdriver for that. Okay, and I believe that you have that kind of that kind of tool, and then. First thing is to open this small screw. Screw in here and you set up this screwdriver in this way and you press down and keep this and very carefully. This opens very nicely because this uh, key is Toyota quality and parts are very high quality and they last long and, and here is this uh, small screw and there is you can see and this fits here very nicely okay and then next step is is to open this cover and 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 there are those line in there and this cut and you only a little bit uh, use your f fingers and niles and this open and if this if this uh, is not opening then you can use small tool what opens that in this way and an and idea is that you open that in here and then you when, when now it's it's ticked you only move that part in and, and now it opens and he, here is this core unit, where is this small electric board and two buttons in here. And, and there is the idea that uh, there is one side where is this kind of hole in here. And I take a small picture and in that hole what is in here? In here, this hole, in he this hole in here, you insert some tool that you can twist this a little bit. This is not maybe the best tool, but but when it, when you twist a little bit, this this plastic black cover opens, and this this cover is very soft. And now it opens and there is this battery and then there is idea that you insert this your screwdriver in here and a little bit move and this battery opens and uh, what kind of battery you need there is this code CR2016 and this is very common standard battery and you can go to purchase this battery in in very supermarkets and so on because this is very standard battery and, 
And then my recommendation is very good hint that, that you purchase good quality brands what are made in quality countries like in Japan. Because if if you purchase very very cheap batteries and poor quality, then there can be leaks and and this whole part destroy destroys destroyed totally and that component is quite expensive. This cost something like my estimation that 200 US dollars and something like 150 50 euros. Okay, and then when when you have purchased this new battery, you you start to insert this in back, and there is hint that there is this slot, and you should to first insert this battery to this slot, like in this 40 little bit degree in that point, and when it is in this slot. Then you only a little bit, there, there was this slot, this V type, and then you press in that, and when you hear this click, this battery is in OK, and then this cover goes only in one way. This is also Toyota design that you, you, you can't do any mistake. And then there is one point, this is also Toyota design, and uh, this, uh, this mine unit, there is this hole, and this, this point goes this, this hole, and you rotate, and insert in here, and now it's almost ready, and then last part is this, and there is trick that you should to insert first, that side in here, in this way, and then you press this in here and check that that there is no any big holes. And then last part is to insert this screw screw back in there and and check that it is in strike, and then little bit screw driving rotation and you check that it moves nicely in there and then final thickening and, and not too much work force but but so much force that that this is uh, very thick and there is no any clumps and then you press this button and you check that yes this red light is okay and your battery change has been successful thank you